So my uh, research project is called XML3D. It's a project where we aim to uh, make 3D graphics more available for everyone. So right now, 3D graphic is more or less a broadcast medium only where specialized people, they produce 3D content mainly for games and uh, they broadcast it to a lot of people, but not everyone is able to produce 3D content. And so we said, uh, we have to put 3D graphics uh, to the web and make it available to web developers. And then we have a huge amount of people who can produce 3D content if we make it available for those web developers. We designed this uh, extension to HTML5. We did a specification, but it's not only theory. We also implemented XML3D. So we extended, for example, the uh, Google Chrome browser to also support XML3D. This is a special version that's available online on our web page. But we can also render XML3D with a new WebGL JavaScript uh, layer. So there are a lot of implementations, and it's used in a, in a huge amount of projects, in national and uh, EU projects, but also in the IVCI, it's a, a visualization platform for a lot of projects in the IVCI. And on the other side, it's a platform where we integrate like the compiler techniques and all the shading and Xflow technology also in this, inside this XML3D platform. And a third uh, achievement we have, we uh, are active in W3C, so we start uh, with the community group. We are in the first phase of a standardization process within W3C, and we gained a lot of interest of uh, several industry companies, big industry companies, to, to look into this new declarative approach on 3D graphics. Oh, the a huge amount of applications we can imagine, like a kitchen configurator or something like a, a product management. So so you can vis visualize your products, but also like ca casual games or e-learning is a really in, uh, interesting application for, for XML3D. Oh. Our big aim is to have this XML3D, this idea really natively in the browser. Everyone who does not want to hire 3D graphics experts to, to publish a 3D web application, they have interest in, in this technology, in, in this declarative approach.